Just a what? What? So we are going to talk about uh, resistors in series today, and then on Monday we will talk about resistors in parallel, and then on Tuesday we'll talk about yeah, complicated resistors of both. What is chapter? What chapter's been like, man, so far? Yeah. Because, like, I've just been drawing. This one is so far. Okay, I'm sorry to disappoint you. I'm not bad. This is that's what I said. That's like, that's not like what parents That's like all kids. What? Yeah, yeah. yeah. my daddy. Oh, I hear it. What? You're really excited about this. All right, here we go. Okay, a series circuit describes two or more components of a circuit that provide a single patch. Okay? So, something that is wired in series, there's only one path for it to go from one uh, terminal to the other terminal. Right? Then it says resistors in series carry the same current. What that means then is, if it's in series, the current through every resistor is the same. Okay? And when we get through parallel, I will give you a chart that will summarize the whole enchilada. I'll give you a whole enchilada. Really? I've heard that. I've heard it. I've heard it. What? It's like I've also had never heard all that in a bag of chips. Oh, it's never heard that. I've never heard that. The cat's pajamas. Yeah, oh, so that's all that bag of chips. Anyway, the equivalent resistance. So I said. The equivalent resistance can be used to find the current of the circuit. Okay, so if we want to find, if we know the current of the circuit is the same all the way throughout a circuit that is run series, then we need to be able to figure out the equivalent resistance. It's actually quite simple. If I have a battery with a resistor, 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 from and resistor. Years of practice. <laughs> okay, let's say this is a 9-ohm resistor, this is a 12-ohm resistor, this is a 3-ohm resistor. Okay, and this is a 6-volt battery. Okay, I can figure out the current through this particular circuit if I know the resistances. Simple. The equivalent resistance is 24. 24. Oh, what? This one's 12 plus 3. Real hard. I don't know what happened. <laughs> what happened? I multiplied by 5 and then took the square root by 34, added that, multiplied by 7, called out Rico. Okay? Then, if I know the equivalent resistance and I know the voltage of the battery, I can figure out the current yeah. in. That's not possible. What is being? That's impossible. Oh my goodness! Oh, wow, well, crazy. So we have a certain law that we talked about last chapter. V equals I R. Okay. Now, if I want to find the uh, equivalent current, I need the equivalent resistance. <laughs> Six volts over 24 ohms is what for current? Okay, so there is your current, and it's the same all the way through your particular uh, series circuit here. Now, the current stays the same, and we know our resistors. The voltage that goes over each of these resistors is not the same, unless they're the same kind of resistor. Okay, so I can figure out the voltage drop over this. Okay, by doing the current is the same everywhere. 0.25. And this is a specifically 9 ohm resistor. What is the voltage drop at that point? Uh, it is 2.25. Okay. 2.25 so 
volts there. Okay? The current is, not the voltage. Hence why I said current instead of volts the other day. Because the voltage is not the same everywhere. Oh, crazy. I still could be wrong, I just, I maybe just misunderstood it. No. And then it's 3 at the top. Yeah. And then it's 0.75 at the other thing. Okay. The current is the same everywhere. The resistors are different. Is the 0.25 the current? Yep. We found the current using the equivalent resistance. Wait, what is the uh, voltage decrease in series. What do you mean decrease? Because it's 2.5 at the 9 ohm resistor, but then at the 12, it's back up to 3. No, that's how much of the 6 volts get. Oh, 6. I'm yep. sorry. There's 3 initially. Yep. Okay. So what was this here? 0.2 or 0.75. 0.75. All right. So we've got that, that, and that. Do you think there's a relationship between those three numbers and this number? Yeah, like six. if you add them up. Yep. Yeah. So you can yeah, always tell if you did your okay. problems right. Yes. So in series, your VQ is going to be V1 plus V2 plus V3 dot 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 depending upon how many resistors you have. Okay? However, the Equivalent, uh, not that. The equivalent current is going to be equal to one, equal to two, equal to three. Dot dot dot. What does that simply just mean? Current. The current is always the same through a resistor or through a circuit that's run in series. Right. The voltage will drop. And when we talk about parallel a little bit later, I'll give you an illustration that will help make sense of all of these things. Okay? Because we'll, we'll talk about how V is really just potential energy. Okay? And I'll use an example, but I'm not going to try to confuse you until I, I uh, get to parallel. So. Okay? And then our. What's the matter? And there is your equation for resistance. Okay, this is specifically in what? Um, series. 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 It's going to look a little different in uh, parallel circuits, and we'll talk about the differences and why it is the way that it is in series and why it is the way that it is in parallel. <laughs> Yep, one, one direction. There's, it can only flow one way. This would be an example of something that is in parallel. Oh, that's not that would be a parallel circuit. Wait, how do you know it went left instead of right? What? On this, how do you know you're supposed to go to the left instead of the right? I mean, it doesn't matter. It usually is going to go from the. Yeah, that was uh, I can't remember. Does one of decrease every time you can raise the stairs? Oh no, because you just use you just use the current and the resistance, so it doesn't really matter if you'll get the same thing. I'm not sure what you're asking me at point. Did you answer it on your own? Yeah. Okay. So left. I hope I turn that on. Complex 
circuits because we will do complex circuits that have portions that are in series and portions that are in parallel and another portion that's back in series and another portion that's back in parallel. You need to be able to uh, you need to be able to simplify those those circuits. Okay, if something is run in series, we said that the resistance run in series they add together. So I could take these two, if this is a 9 ohm resistor and this is a 6 ohm resistor, I could rewrite the circuit as one resistor that is what? 15 ohms. Okay? What you're going to find then is if we can take things that are in parallel or in series and combine them, eventually you can make it a much more simpler circuit. To do the math of. Where it has the same efficiency. You can, if you, instead of having a 9 and a 6, you just have a 15, would that have the same efficiency? The only thing that I would say that would be different is potentially you would have less wire. But other than that, the having one resistor of 15 ohms or having two with a 6 and a, uh, a 9, it's going to behave the exact same way. Okay. And there's your equation, and I kind of gave you, did you guys write those other ones that I wrote down yeah, earlier? I did. Did you? I like the three ones where I had the voltage, the current, and the resistance. You didn't write that down? Right. Isn't it the same equation as last chapter, just not single? This one? Yeah. You talking about this one? Yeah. Yes. Yeah. They're modifications of all the laws. I'm talking about these ones. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Those are just that. Oh, you're talking about the National Guard? How soon can you apply? How soon can I do my 20 grand? Yeah, seriously. Hey, what'd you get on your ass? Oh, you can't. I don't have my ass. You can't. I started really hard for my ass, man. Got up and got it. You got my ass. Pretty well. What? Yeah, Nate was like, I said he got 96. I'm not going to brag or anything. My dad got a 99. I don't know if you should. Oh, that's insane. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's insane. 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 Yeah, um, I'll give you different ones for parallel, and you, you're going to need to know which one goes with which, and you may not write in your note card, this is for series and this is for parallel. Bryce, you got to throw it out! Can we throw those right now so we can clear our What if you did that? What if you actually know those ones right there are all series? Oh, wait. Is this equation for series? I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. Well, uh, yeah. Probably not. Probably not. Oh, you're saying versus series. Versus parallel. Yeah, when we get to parallel, it'll be different equations. Okay? So, um, what you're going to have to do when you solve these problems is first find the current that's running through by finding the equivalent resistance. Once you have the current going through the whole entire circuit, you can do each individual thing. Okay. You need to first get your total current. Because once you know that, you know the current is the same all the way throughout. So then you can find your individual voltage drops. Wait, so is this like an example of what we're just talking about? Oh, for this uh, no, hold on. We would have to have an image for this, right? Yes. So now I'm going to get to it. Okay. So, um, so with series, since there's only one direction that uh, current can flow, if some uh, light bulb in that series circuit burns out, what essentially happens is all of the lights will turn off. Why? You essentially just created an open circuit. There's your switch. Mm -hmm. So a short circuit. Is that? Oh, okay. Wait, no, it's not, that's not a series. It does seem like Christmas. There's no resistance. So old, the older Christmas lights, if one went out, they all did. The newer Christmas lights, I think they are starting to do some of them in series or in parallel, so that if one goes out, it doesn't affect the other ones. Okay. So what I don't understand is, you ever had those Christmas lights that like half of them go out and the other half don't? Yeah. They must have like the first half is in one 
is in parallel and the other half is in the other parallel. So like if you lose one of one in the half, parallel. Yeah. You know, so I'm assuming it's it's it's, 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 it's like this. And so there's a light bulb here, 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 something like this. So like if this light bulb goes out, all of those go out, but not these. That's, I, I don't know why they would do that, why they would just make everything parallel, I'll probably just make it more complicated, more, yeah, you know, they're trying to sell, you know, Christmas lights for $3 a pop. What do you think about it? If one goes out, I'll throw it on the whole thing. Three bucks a pop. You didn't know my Christmas lights, just talk to Willie. I'm not sure. <laughs> oh, my word, that's a rose. <laughs> oh, that is a rose. What if I just keep lamps like this for the entire class, where it's just a camera that blocked? I would like, I would probably like, like, don't do that at all. It was actually like, she got an email today from a parent thanking me that I built those up because in physics and a lot. Let's do this problem. Okay, and you're probably thinking, well, how in the world am I going to figure this out if I do not have a picture? So I will draw the picture. So, dude, it's crazy because I was thinking. Are we going to be immortalized? Like, what is every, what's, like, every other class this is, this is coming this out? This is the only thing you are video. Oh, we have to do something. Yeah, he's not going to do it every year. Are you going to record it every other year? No. We have a solid opportunity. He's only going to do it this year. Right Guys, now. we're famous. I'm like, ah! Yeah. Oh, 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 cool stuff. Cool. Don't think that you guys are famous. Hey, class of 2020. Oh, there's only four classes. Kramer's Star Wars. You were your first field. I know Kramer's dead or gone. No, I know.
but I want to know the voltage over each individual resistor, not over the total resistance. This is the total resistance. I have five 2 ohm resistors. Correct. So technically it looks like this. One, two, three, four, five. So it's really 2 ohm, 2 ohm, 2 ohm, 2 ohm, 2 ohm. That makes sense? I don't either. I'm trying to figure that out. I'm using 10 times 2.4 current times. Well, that's just going to give you your 24 volts. That's the total battery. But there's going to be a certain amount of volts that goes through each resistor. I didn't want to know how much voltage is dropped through each resistor. The 10 resistors of all of them together instead of the 10 resistors. Okay, so what you do. You use the equivalent resistance to find the current through everything. Okay, so that's where you're going to use the equivalent resistance. That means all the resistors, the resistors added together. That make sense? I should probably say this. V equivalent is equal to I R. But it's not our equivalent. It is. It is here. But I get a situation where I wasn't doing the equivalent. So in this situation, I use the equivalent voltage and the equivalent resistance to find the equivalent current. How do you know that? So like if I. In order for me to even find the voltage across each resistor, I have to know the current. Yes. For once in my life, I have been able to do it. And then you have some engineer work? Yes, I have. I played one. Four Oh, dude, press, press. Oh, oh, oh. I had the greatest moment. I played with the biggest oh. in you. Who? Oh. Oh. Like it was some random guy. So you were playing duos with some random guy? No, 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 no. 